Welcome back to another episode of BSPN where we review the Hurricane Pro results. Now also, we are doing a giveaway. So make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, turn on that notification bell and listen up to hear how you can be a part of our next giveaway. All right, we're live. Welcome back you guys to our daily live feed and we have a BSPN night tonight. So give you guys a second to get logged on and just mention that um, Maria Luisa Diaz did win the figure class here. Um, just like we thought, like my, my predictions, as far as my predictions are concerned, they were pretty much spot on across the board. Like we had no surprises, <laughs> really. Um, so that that's good, right? Um, we don't have any kind of um, pictures or anything like that from the Poland show. I do know that Nora and Adriana were like third and fourth. Uh, so the girls that took first and second I actually don't know. So I can't really talk a whole lot about the Poland show. So we don't have any pictures from it, so I got no, I got nothing. I got nothing from Poland. So we'll figure that out later in the week if they get some pictures up or something like that. We'll go through it quickly. Um, we are going to go through uh, legions, and like I said with San Antonio, we'll kind of touch on it a little bit. But they're the pictures for some reason on NPC News Online. They're they're saying not found when I try to click through. So I did see a really crappy live stream on, <laughs> on Instagram for uh, San Antonio. So I did see it go down, uh, but it was just really, really far away and blurry. So I couldn't really get an idea of anything. Um, so all we really have, we'll kind of touch on San Antonio right now. Um, before we get into that, if you want to work with me, suitsimposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing. Um, Fix make everyone look way softer. Yes, they do. We're gonna go into that. We're gonna go into that for sure because I will mention that. I did look through the photos. Obviously, I got your photos off and posted those up for you. So Devin, you know, you you got yourself um, third place and everything like that. Um, so I'll, I'm looking at the wrong. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong um, Instagram name. But yes, you're right. Everyone everyone makes makes everyone look way softer because Devin just logged on and I did get Devin's pictures, but now the pictures aren't loading, so I can't go through and give you any any anything on the on the on the site because the site's photos are not loading so anyway roundabout answer <laughs> but before we get into all that okay so got some business to attend to i put this up in my stories today i'm gonna start a contest okay and this is going to be for following and subscribing with us on youtube Right now we have close to 600 subscribers, I believe. Um, I was on, okay, I was, I was so confused, Devin. I was like, I thought that was you. And then I saw you log on. I'm like, wait a second, I'm so confused. Okay, <laughs> we got it. It was actually you. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. So I wanna get everybody over there and subscribed onto, um, onto YouTube. We can go live on YouTube right now, but until we hit a thousand subscribers, there are limited functions when it comes to going live on YouTube. So I want to get that boosted up. I want to get subscribers. I want to get everybody over there so we can start We can start actually going live on YouTube as well. Um, so I'm going to run a contest with that. And this may go for a while. Um, it's just going to be dependent upon how quickly we ramp up the subscriber list and everything, but I'm going to give away at least a free hour of posing for somebody on my subscriber list. So my my posing, I charge $125 an hour. So you're gonna get an hour for free and you can break that into um, you know two half hours if you wanted to, to do that. And I'm gonna pick this randomly from one of my subscribers who is commenting and liking and all of those things on our, on our videos. YouTube runs it a little bit differently, so I can't see who's actually liking the, vo the photos and who's viewing them, things like that. But I can see who's subscribing. I can see who's commenting. So from the people that are commenting and subscribing to our channel, once we hit that thousand subscriber mark, I'm going to pick at least one person, at least, this depends on how much interaction we get, to get a free hour posing with me. That seems to be the number one thing that people want. So um, I'm putting that out there as a free gift. If you don't specifically wanna pose with me and maybe you win this thing, you can give it away. You can give away that free posing to maybe a friend of yours who would who would like to come pose with me for an hour, okay? So I really wanna start boosting up our, our, our subscribers over there on YouTube so we can get more and more content out um, and create more and more content for you. We are providing something to this internet space that doesn't exist right now, so I wanna continue to do that for you guys. So 
The link to our YouTube channel and our latest YouTube upload is in my bio here. So if you just click through on that and subscribe, that'll get you on our subscriber list. Turn on the notification bell so you know when we go live with those videos. I'm putting up, you know, on average about three videos a week. So even when we go live here, we still have videos going up on YouTube too. So um, do that. And that are and just like everything and comments everything watch everything that enters you in and as soon as we hit that thousand subscriber mark that's when I'll start picking winners and again I may do more than one hour posing I may I may give away a few hours to to several people depending on how much work they put in so if you guys ever have ever been around for one of my giveaways I tend to add extra stuff in <laughs> say I'm gonna give away one thing and I end up giving away ten things so so just so you know so do that for me okay all right there we go got rid of that business thing now so okay so let's move on to hurricane so this was a big show you guys um and before we get into the open show i just want to give miss karen small a big shout out because she won the 16 over class um this was her first show this year and she went through a lot this year to try to actually get on stage this year so seeing her walk out on stage and just own that stage was awesome um I've never seen her, well, I'll take that back. I'm not gonna say never. I saw her with that same kind of confidence when she actually won her pro card. All last year, she did not have that kind of confidence when she walked on stage and this show she did and just took it straight away. So yes, for Karen, yes, Miriam. And she did She did amazing. She also got first call out for um, 15, uh, 15 over. So did Miriam. Miriam got first call out for 15 over as well. So, um, you know, it was just really cool to see that, to see that confidence factor come through and everything. And, you know, specifically going back to Karen, like it, it was, it, it touched me right here too, because like you guys, I've told you guys this before, you have to have that mentality of you're going into a show to win right? You have to tell yourself that until you believe it. And a couple of weeks ago when we were going through her posing, she was just saying, I just want to, you know, I just want to look like I belong and blah, blah, blah. I said, Karen, you can't think like that. I said, Karen, you got to go into the show thinking that you're going to win it. I said, I don't want to hear that, those excuses anymore. I don't want to hear those excuses like you can't do this. You know what I mean? And she's like, no, you're right. And she flipped her mentality and look at what happened. She won. She won that 16 over class. And man, you couldn't tell me that she was 60. Are you kidding me? Nah, she looks phenomenal. So I just wanted to kind of give her a big shout out because that was a big, big growing point for her this year, um, just overall in her career as a, as a pro too. So um, let's see, best I've seen her look all around. Absolutely, Karen looks so freaking amazing. She did, met Karen in person for the first time this weekend and she's amazing, love her energy. Yeah, she's amazing. She's so funny, man. Um, her waist and them glutes, right? What 60 year old has glutes like that? Like for real, <laughs> give me some of that. Give me some of that, that, that glute love right there. That's I need. <laughs> and she looked damn good doing it. Just amazing. She sure did. She sure did. She did phenomenal. And, um, and I could tell she was a little bit shook <laughs> that she was doing so well, but I was so proud of her. I was watching the live stream and I was like giggling because it's like classic Karen. And I, I love it. I love it so much. Um, she, she did phenomenal. So Yes, they were so full and round. Yeah, she has amazing glutes. That's and you know she'll say that's all. That's always her like downfall too because it's hard for her to get conditioned enough. Um, but having that fullness there, especially when you're in your sixties, man, like that is like next worldly amazing, right? <laughs> like crazy, crazy, right? Um, so with that, um, just wanted to say congratulations to them. And then also our opposing client too, um, Angela, Angela Rosselli won the 15 over and the 40 and over, uh, master's classes as well. So, uh, really good showing right there for our, our cuties, for the, for the master's, uh, women at the show. So going on to open, um, this was a big show. It was a big show. Um, and of course we have our winner, Jordan. Jordan, is it Jordan or Jordan? I always say it wrong. And I know you clarified this for me once before and I still screw it up. <laughs> so, so I know you're on the live, so just type it in phonetically and I, I'm gonna, I promise I'm gonna try really hard to get it. <laughs> I got the Jor part, Jor, I got that part. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> but anyway, she was our winner. Uh, first one, <laughs> which one did I say, Jordan? Jordan, I think. I think I got it. <laughs> um, anyways, she looked phenomenal. Um, like I said in my stories yesterday, it was like, or Saturday or whatever it was, um, like soup du jour. <laughs> I love it. I love that. That's fantastic. Okay. Got it. Jordan. Got it. 
All right, I'm gonna remember it. I swear, I swear it's gonna it's gonna sink into my head one of these times. I swear it is. Um, anyways, like I said on my stories, it was like it was like her on stage and then everybody else. Like if you guys got the live feed or you go back and watch it, it that's literally what it looks like. It looks like she's owning the stage, she's starring on stage, and everybody else is just the supporting cast members walking around her. <laughs> like, like that. Literally, that's how you want to sh win a show. That's how you want to win a show, right? I know, I know I'm gonna do my best I promise I promise I'm such like I've said before I'm such an aural learner that once I hear it one way it's really hard for me to break it like you know Sandy says uh Lorelei all the time instead of Laura Lee oh my god it, it drives me nuts in my brain all the time because I'm like it's not Laura Lorelei it's Laura Lee say Laura Lee Laura Lee like it every time like it ugh, anyway it's long story short. I'm an aural learner. So when I hear something, it sticks, right? <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, so um, look phenomenal. So we're going to start with fifth place and work, work our way up from, from there. So uh, Teresa Miller, she took fifth. So this was her best placing that she's gotten so far in the pro league. Um, this was definitely an improved package from what she's brought in the past. Um, these masters are slaying. They sure are. And... Um, yeah, overall, like, uh, Teresa brought a much more conditioned package. She's already a super pretty girl to begin with. She's already got a great stage presence to begin with, but she's never really been able to dial her physique in correctly, right? So I still think she needs to be tighter. Uh, you can see it specifically in her, in her waistline, her lower back. Needs to come in a little bit tighter there. Um, if she can come in, you know, a couple pounds tighter, then that's gonna, that's gonna really shrink in for her and she's not gonna have that little, that little skin fold in the back that she's got right now in her front pose. Um, and then when you look at her back, same thing with the back shot. So when you get into her back shot, um, again, beautiful shape, overall beautiful shape, but she just needs to be a little bit tighter. Now, again, this is the tightest that she has been all year. This is the best package that she has put on stage all year for sure but she still needs to bring it down just a little bit more, right? She still needs to bring it down just a little bit more. And, you know, looking at these photos on, um, on NBC News Online, you gotta be real careful about your transitions and things like that, because I'm looking at, you know, one of these main photos when she's transitioning into her back pose and she's letting her glutes kind of drop a little bit. So, you know, just little things like that, um, you know, she obviously moved herself up from like second, third call out type girl into a first call out type girl, which is great. Now she's got to start fine-tuning this even more. Fine-tuning, fine-tuning, fine-tuning. Overall, her shape is amazing. And again, she's a beautiful girl. Uh, just needs to keep fine-tuning fine from here. Um, she's been prepping herself, I think, and now she's with James. He did a good, good post on her. Yeah, she was always self-coached up until now. Up until now, she's self-coached. And yes, I'm a big believer in having a coach, like a second set of eyes, somebody that can look at you. Because when you get so deep into prep, you just can't look at yourself objectively anymore. You just can't. You just can't. You know, um, even with uh, Jennifer Dory, Jennifer Dory is a great example. She does coach herself, but she's got Mark, and Mark is basically her sounding board and her coach. You know what I mean? She's got great people around her that can look at her and tell her, you know, what she, confirm what she's seeing. You need that. You need to have that, especially at the pro level. Especially at the pro level, you need to have that because I'm telling you, when you get this deep into prep and you can't think for yourself anymore, you need somebody who's got a good eye that can think for you. So, you know, coaches are important. This is a great example of that. This is a great example of that. Um, moving on to uh, fourth place was Jessica Dolius. So again, I assumed she was going to be somewhere in this area. You know, I put her up in my top four. Uh, this was an improved package for Jessica too. She switched her front pose side. I do remember, you know, like a month ago or something like that, she put up a post on Instagram talking about which, um, which front pose looked better on her. And I think most of us coaches responded on there and said that her other side looked better on her <laughs> and it does it looks better on her she's much more balanced on this side she has a much better v taper on this side um we need to show these lives more love girls and the hearts i love it thank you um but yeah this is a, a much better balanced pose for her on the front it just looks a lot more solid um i'd still like to see her take her hand that's on her waistline and bring it down it's up too high and it's covering her belly button so she needs to come down about an inch below the belly button and just let it relax a little uh, that would make this front pose perfect um, and then also one of the things that I saw in the live stream is I felt like this suit was a little bit distracting to me meaning because it's a light color it looked almost too big on her on stage um, 
when you look at the photos, you don't get that same feeling. But when you look at her on the live feed, you do just because it's a light color. This is the this is the this is the problem with having a light color sometimes, especially if you're a fair, a fair skin girl, which she is. She's not a dark skin girl. It can end up almost blowing out a little, which is what I felt like this did to her. Because looking at the photos, the suit doesn't look big on her on the photos. But that is initially the thing that I thought of when I saw her on the live stream. I felt like the top specifically, the top just just took over her whole frame. And it probably is just the color. Probably just the color on her, honestly. Um, because when I'm looking at the fit, it looks fine on the photos. You know what I mean? So that would be my critique as far as that is concerned. Um, but I do like the suit actually better than what she had before. So too many AB stones. Yeah, that's that was probably it. That was probably it. Yep, we'll make the suit look whitish. Yeah, and that was that was what it was. It was like it was like it was too much. You're right. It was too much. Um, and it just looked big. It made it look big more than anything else. It made it look big on her. So, uh, and it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, obviously, when you look at the photos, it's not big on her, but that's what it looked like on stage. So you gotta be careful about those kinds of things, right? Um, and then looking at her from the back, let's see. Yeah, and same thing from the back. Again, the, 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 it's not like this suit is big on her. It's not by any stretch of the imagination, but I just think it's the color more than anything else. Um, she, she looks great from the back. She's nice and tight. I could see her needing to add a little bit more size to her glutes just to balance her out a little bit better. Um, but overall, the fullness in her glutes is really nice, and she's tight too through the hamstrings and everything as well. So, you know, I, I think this is probably one of her best looks she's had all year. You know, I've, I've, I've seen her in person and I've seen her, you know, competing quite a bit this year. And she's been, you know, those girls in that top five type area. She's a little bit of a, of a of thicker waistline from the back. So I think if she added a little bit more volume to her glutes, that could really help make that waistline look a little bit smaller on her. Um, but overall, this is a really good package for her. Really, really good package for her. So um, good job. Good job with that. Made some good changes. Made some good changes here. Um, then we go up to third place, which is Lauren, Lauren Dannon Miller. Um, to be honest with you, I, th I think she looked better at the Olympia than she did here. Um, I did see her make a post and say something happened. I don't know what happened between before this show, but uh, something traumatic, uh, which would make sense. She looks like she lost a little bit of pop all over. Um, she just doesn't look round in the areas that she that she typically looks round, uh, specifically her glutes and her shoulders. Right? She looks a little bit flat all the way around. Um, you know, that, that she's a long, lean girl. And I, again, I don't know what happened that was traumatic, but still, even just dieting for a longer period of time for a girl like this is not the best idea in the world because you start to lose that fullness. Um, and to me, that's what I saw here. Here, I also didn't see her typical confidence on stage, right? Oh, and we just got a page not found again when I tried to go back to her, her pictures. So we're losing photos, guys. We're losing photos. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, I tried to go back to see her front pose and it just told me that page not found. So, um, anyway, you know, overall, I don't think it was a bad look for her, but I don't think it was, it was her best either. Um, and I think she also knew that, like I said, you can tell when a girl is really confident on stage and when she's not. Um, and to me, I just kind of, I was missing that typical confidence factor for her. So, um, just needs to fill it right back out and get back to where she was just a couple of weeks ago. Maybe she needs to take some time off. Maybe her body's tired. You know, all of those things could be, could be the case, but I just want to see a little bit more pop all the way around. Um, and again, not a terrible, uh, package for her by any stretch of the imagination. I've just seen her better. I've just seen her better. Um, second place was Maria... Julia Lemos, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you guys know who she is. So, um, this girl, she won Puerto Rico. She won the Puerto Rico Pro. Um, and this particular package for her at Hurricane was much better than Puerto Rico. Much, much better. Uh, from the front, she has a killer physique from the front. Really killer um, proportions and everything like that. Uh, she's nice and tight and full from the front and everything. She could stand to straighten her front pose up a little bit. She's a little bit too bent. She's pushing into it a little bit too much. Um, but she, and she could just, she would, it would benefit her to stand up a little taller, basically. Um, but from the front, she looks phenomenal. She really does. From the back, she's still a little soft. Now, this is something that I critiqued her on from Puerto Rico as well. She's just a little soft through the back. 
Uh, not quite crisp enough through the hamstrings. Um, nice shape and everything like that. Really nice shape to her glutes. Um, but again, overall, she's just not tight enough. Um, let's see if this picture's gonna... Oh yeah, picture came up for me. So yeah, if, if she could bring it down like another, I don't know, like two pounds or something like that into the hamstrings, that would really bring that look together a whole lot better for her. Just bring those hamstrings in a little bit more. Um, and that would be her complete package. And I'm sure that's probably difficult because from the front, she's almost a little bit too much on the hard side, specifically to her waistline. Um, she's not yet, but I could see if she dropped a couple more pounds, she would be, you know, so it's a really fine tuning balance for her. I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, but, uh, this was an improved look for her from Puerto Rico. Um, so she's just got to keep testing and figuring out how she can, how she can really bring those hamstrings in for herself. Right. So really good job there. Now, Jordan. So Jordan, yeah, like I said before, she just kind of took over the stage in this particular show. And like I mentioned, I, I really love this pink suit. I love this pink suit a lot. Um, it's different and it really is flattering on Jordan's skin tone. Uh, I, the fit's great, all of that. I love this whole look. This whole look is, is, is spot on right there. Um, Jordan is always going to look amazing from the front. And one of the things that I've given her a lot of credit for this past this past year is balancing her upper body with her lower body. Her upper body is a lot fuller, um, looks a lot more balanced, and that just makes her waistline look even crazy, even more small, smaller than it actually is, crazy tiny. Um, from the back, the last couple of shows, she's been a little bit, same thing, need to get a little bit crispier. We got crispy here. So from the back, she's nice and tight. Glutes are still full. Um, and it, again, to me, it was like this, it was, it was her show and everybody else was just kind of a supporting cast. <laughs> I mean, it really was. It's rare that I can say that. Usually it's, usually it's between like a couple of people, but I can say that for her this week. And I can also say that for Isabel, um, Isa that, that won the wellness in, in San Antonio. Same thing. It was, it was just their show. Um, so overall, I, I, I love Jord Jordan's shape. I would say probably just keep adding to the glute fullness. And that's about, that's about all that I would do. I would keep the same level of conditioning all the way around, keep the same level of fullness on the upper body. Everything else the same. I wouldn't change anything else. I would just keep working on filling out the glutes even more, right? Um, really good, really good package, really good solid package here. Um, so that is Hurricane. Thank you so much again for joining us for BSPN and be back the rest of this week as we post up more show reviews and this giveaway will go on until we have a thousand subscribers here on this channel. So please like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell that enters you into our giveaway. So be sure to do that right now. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you next time.